Hannah and I'm from Bread and Butter and today I'm going to be showing you how to make pancakes. Why pancakes? Because they're super tasty, great for snack, perfect for breakfast or dessert. Don't just save making pancakes for pancakes day. Lots of people buy ready-made pancake mix but there's really no need because all you do need is three basic ingredients, egg, milk and flour. These ingredients are whole foods, which means they are completely natural with no added ingredients. Before we start cooking, make sure you wash your hands, tie your hair back, roll up your sleeves and put an apron on. An apron protects you from getting your clothes dirty and also from spillage of hot liquids. The equipment you need is a mug, a small bowl, a whisk, a frying pan and a spatula. You'll need three ingredients, eggs, milk and self braising flour, plus a bit of butter or oil to grease the pan. First thing you need is half a mug of flour, then you need half a mug of milk, Then you crack one egg into the bowl. And then you whisk it all together to create a batter. And if it's too runny, you can add some more flour to it. Whisk it until it's completely lump free. When you are learning to cook and using sharp utensils like knives, you should have an adult supervise you to keep you safe. When cooking in a frying pan, add a teaspoon of oil or a bit of butter to the pan to stop the pancake sticking. To make American pancakes, use your cup or a ladle to slowly pour enough butter in the pan to make a pancake about the width of your cup. American pancakes fluff up because the self-rising flour makes them rise. Cook them on gentle heat. Once you see bubbles appear, test to see if the pancake will move by pushing it with the spatula. If so, then they are ready to flip over and cook on the other side. Cook the other side for just a minute or two. You want each side to look golden brown. If the pancake is too dark, then you need to turn down the heat. After they've cooked for a few minutes on the other side, they're ready to eat. Now like mine, with some tin peaches on top, or on the side. <laughs> 